Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I've got some signature scent perfumes, perfumes that I would choose from my collection to wear as a signature scent and really that I would recommend you test for yourself because I think they're all signature scent worthy. Before I get started though, I just want to show you my new jewellery and this is thank you to Read Your Heart who actually sent this to me and asked me to feature it in a video and we are talking about this beautiful sterling silver necklace with this Pariba tourmaline heart gem which I love. Now Read Your Heart got in touch with me a while ago and I did a video for them when I showed you this beautiful ring which I absolutely love and this time around I picked out this necklace to match the ring and also I've got to show you this. I picked this out, I'm showing you it in the packaging first, it is amazingly beautiful so the packaging is this tiffany colored box with the lovely velvet now look at this ring so this is a vintage filigree ring and it's moissanite which is a lab created better budget friendly diamond alternative so look at the sparkles The one they sent me here is a two carat moissanite diamond there. And you can see there's gems everywhere, tiny little gems everywhere. And it is so sparkly. So a little bit about Read Your Heart. They are a company, a very small company. They were created by a lady called Alyssa. Alyssa went on a holiday to Antarctica and she said she had the best time ever, but it was sadly dampened by the fact that she lost her engagement ring. But on this holiday, she was drawn to this lady's ring. She met this lady and she had this beautiful, what she thought was a diamond ring. And that's when she found out about Moissanite. So Moissanite, is lab created, but it initially was found because of a meteor crashing to the earth. And this chemist or scientist found these particles which he thought were diamonds. And it turned out they were this other material, I've forgotten the name. And eventually he was able to synthesize that material and create what is the moissanite. And the moissanite has more sparkle, more hardness, than an actual diamond, but it costs about one tenth of the price. Now, I really genuinely love this jewelry. I absolutely love it. I do get offered things every now and then, and most of the time I don't take them. But when Read Your Heart first got in touch with me and I looked at their website, I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. It was this in particular I wanted. And I was like, oh my God, I really want that. And then I was looking at all the sparkly things. And uh, this time around, I saw this beautiful, it's supposed to be an engagement ring, but um, it doesn't look like I'm getting engaged anytime soon. So I got a nice big one to wear on my middle finger. Absolutely love it. So I have got a discount code if you are interested. They've actually got a sale on at the moment. So I just had a look at these items. This is on sale at the moment. It's $89.95 and the ring is $129.95. If you have a one carat, this is actually the two carat gem and that is $179.95. So I have got a code 15% off Claire, 15, we'll get you 15% off. I will link the details in the description below. Do have a look if you're interested. I think it would make a really gorgeous Christmas present. Christmas is coming already. And I will show you quickly the packaging and everything you get with it. So they send you a lovely little gift bag, a polishing cloth, and the certificate for the quality of the gemstone that you've purchased. I am very, very happy and 
thank you so much to read your heart for sending that to me not sponsored but they did send me the jewelry for free just to be aware of that i picked a blue top to go with it and i have got my eyes on the earrings they've got matching earrings in this gemstone so maybe if one or two of you were to buy something they'll work with me again and i can pick out the earrings next time but let's move on now to the perfumes so signature scent worthy perfumes let's start with this lovely light and soft irisy rose musk slight hint of vanilla scent which is called per tetra from maison longcom this one is that your skin but better type scent so it's musky and clean it's like you've just got out of the shower it's kind of like lightly powdery soft but very much a skin like scent and it's really pretty if you like iris and musk and a little hint of rose then this is beautiful it's not going to offend anyone it can be worn anytime by anyone all year round and it is just really lovely very pretty without being overtly flirtatious. I really enjoy that one. Another perfect signature scent is this from 4,160 Tuesdays. This is Clouds Illusion Parfum. However, all the clouds variations are very similar. I've smelt quite a few. And currently the one available on the website is uh, both sides of clouds. So Clouds Illusion was made with the most expensive ingredients were exchanged for their synthetic alternative and the both sides which is available on the website is a mixture of both so you have some real narcissus absolute real iris but you also have the synthetic so this is a powdery fluffy cloud like scent it's neither too happy nor too sad it's definitely a little bit of both it has a melancholic side lots of iris lots of musk some citruses the narcissus to give it that floral lift and a base of uh, vanilla and sandalwood but it's all very very smooth and fluffy and gentle and it is really pretty another one for you iris lovers for sure so that one is We'll call it clouds but it's called both sides of clouds at the moment that's the one that's available this is the illusion version most of these actually are a little musky and floral this one is definitely musky and floral it's called levant from Ormond jane and i always forget what the flowers are in here it does have some lily but it does not give me that really green and heady sharp lily scent it's very soft there's a tiny hint of sharpness, I guess, in the opening. There's some citruses as well in the beginning. There's a few florals. I think there's some peony. It gives like a, a rose-ish like effect. Rose and a clean white floral with a very soft, musky, powdery base. Really excellent longevity. Non-offensive, but very pretty. Can be worn anytime, anywhere. Perfect for work, perfect for a date perfect for lunch just perfect for signature scent so that's almond jane levant now this could totally be my signature scent although it's so damn special but i do wish i could wear it every single day and it's called hera from papillon perfumery it is a little more expensive it's an x-ray and it's highly natural you've got some uh, jasmine you've got some narcissus and i think there's another white floral a little bit of orange blossom lots of iris all mixes in with it gives it this amazing texture and effect there's some ambre has a little sparkle to it a little bit musky and then it dries down sort of chypre-esque like so there is oak moss and labdanum in here and uh, some vanilla the vanilla is very understated so it's not a it's not gourmand at all it's definitely floral but the iris and the musk just really they make it really smooth and enveloping and just absolutely lovely so that is Hera from Papillon this one is Joyous Tuberose from Guerlain 
So it's the Latte Mattia line, now in a different bottle to this. I prefer this myself. So Joyous Tuberose is a little fresher and lighter and brighter than most of these. Some might say it's more of just a spring summer fragrance, but I think it's got enough depth with this lovely vanilla iris, fluffy backbone that it can definitely be worn all year round and day, night, all occasions. I just think it's very, very pretty, very attractive, but slightly understated at the same time. It's not a, it's not a big beast mode in your, in your face. And for a tuberose scent, it is not big and blousy. It's a tuberose for someone who doesn't even necessarily like tuberose, that, that's me. And it's fresh and approachable and friendly. And it's just perfect for a signature scent. So that's Joyous Tuberose, brand new to my collection. Absolutely loving it. I'm doused in it today and I got doused in it yesterday. And it is Unspoken Musk from Francesca Bianchi. This arrived yesterday and I instantly put it on. I don't want to spray the necklace. <laughs> instantly put it on. And this is for this is perfection for me. This is absolutely blatant signature scent worthy, no shadow of a doubt. The uh, the notes in here. Obviously, there's various musks. There's a few animalic musks. I don't find it that dirty. I know some people do, but they find the opening very dirty. The opening is no more dirty than Kiehl's original musk, if you know that. It's similar, but I actually find this slightly less dirty than that. I don't specifically pick out Castorium or Civet. I just get a slightly dirty feel, almost like a a pillow that's been slept on for a week by someone so just a little musky dirtiness without it going fecal or pissy and then you've got immortel that's a very important note in here and i don't usually love immortel for some reason i absolutely love it in here i don't get any of the dry curry like nuances of immortel i get more of a fruity maple syrup feel from it so it feels a little fruity for the um a large part of the wearing but very musky very irisy very francesca bianchi if you know the dry down the far far dry down of most of her perfumes that is this basically it's almost like she's taken that and just amped it up and made it a singular perfume. It's not the most uh, out, out there crazy wild fragrance. In fact, I'd say it's her most likable wearable. Although some people would argue it's too dirty, who knows? But for me, it's easiest one to wear. It's the one that I've fallen most in love with. It's my favorite Francesca Bianchi perfume now, and that's saying something lovely massive dose of iris with a little hint of vanilla in there lots of powder it's fluffy and cozy and just amazing and it lasts really really well you don't get a massive journey on your skin very very subtle nuances come out and then once you get to the the last half of the wearing of the perfume it really does feel like fluffy musky iris vanilla mostly but it's done so perfectly that I just love it and I totally could wear it every day. Another musky one, musky floral, although it's more about the musk and the vanilla than the floral, Blanche Bette from Liquid Imaginaire. This one smells a bit almond-like. It's very milky, so it's almond, milk, you've got musks, you've got ambrette, and a little bit of tuberose and jasmine, but that's blended in it's like the milk is infused with a few flowers it's not like walking past a like a bush of flowers uh, but mostly it's milky it's musky a little hint of woodsiness in the dry down but the musks it's the musks they are so addictive they're attractive i had my hairdresser i wore this to get my hair done and my hairdresser said I smelt good. And I, I said, I knew you were gonna like this because he's, he's got similar taste to me. He likes Soleil Neige, 
which I introduced him to. And I'd say that there's, well, there's some similarities. And he tried this on his skin and immediately sniffed it. And he said, where can I buy this right now? <laughs> Like he, he just didn't want to wait, he wanted to buy it immediately. So it is a very attractive scent and I think it could be a perfect signature because it lasts really well, it lasts a whole day long. It's not a beast, but the, um, the, the subtlety of the notes come together in the air to create something magical, rather like an aura. So it's not one of those big punch you in the face beast mode perfumes, but you will, people will notice it as you're moving around. People will catch whiffs and be wondering who the hell smells that good. And it will be you if you're wearing Blanche Bet. So my final choice really is a very me choice. It's not, this one I'm not saying is gonna sue everyone as a signature scent. But for me, it definitely could be because of how much I love it. And that is Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee from Paris Monte Carlo. I've already emptied a 50 mil. And this is now my 100 mil that I bought for a ridiculously cheap price from my lovely friend, Alicia. So thank you again to Alicia. And Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee really is fairly simplistic. It's a kind of like fruity feeling, rich Ylang Ylang with the most gorgeous vanilla. The vanilla is not sugary sweet. It's a very natural smelling vanilla. It smells rich, it smells nuanced, it has a spice to it, and it's thick and long lasting. It's heady, it feels exotic, but it doesn't smell like a cheap, a cheapy, beachy type scent. There's no coconut. It's uh, not gimmicky at all. It's, it smells expensive but it's also kind of flirty and fun because it's got that gorgeous tropical ylang. So for me, I can wear this year round, day, night, hottest weather, coldest weather, doesn't matter. It projects, it lasts, it's amazing. I love how it makes me feel, but it's not quite in the same category as everything else because it's not necessarily as versatile as everything else because it is quite heady. Some people might not want to wear this to work, to a, a, um, anything serious. It might be a little too flirtatious, a little too exotic, a little too heady. But for me, this is a perfect signature scent because I just want to smell like this all the time because it's so gorgeous. So that's Ylang Ylang Nosy Bay. That is it then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the uh, Read Your Heart website which I'll link below if you are interested in any of this stunning 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 jewelry and I will catch you in another video bye